Hi, grade three and four students. Um, this is Paul, your music teacher. Um, today, I'm going to be teaching you a new song. Um, this is a, a Calypso song. It has a lot of words. So um, I'm going to go through um, the words with you a little bit. And it's got a really catchy melody and it's very fun to sing. Okay. Um, the film that this is from was um, called The Little Mermaid. Um, it came out in 1990, so I was 12 years old then. Um, I've never actually seen that film. Apparently it's good. I'm not really sure. Um, the story of the movie was based originally on the Hans Christian Andersen tale, The Little Mermaid, which is 183 years old. So it's a very old story. Um, it's basically about a mermaid who's willing to um, give up her life under the sea um, in exchange for becoming human. So when she becomes human, she's not allowed to go back under the water again. Um, and in the movie, the, um, the cartoon movie, um, it's about a mermaid. And when she turns 15, she's allowed to, um, go onto the shore. So to, to be a human basically just for like one day or something like that. But while she's up there, she falls in love with, a guy um, who is drowning um, and she rescues him, but then she has to go back down under the water again and she's a mermaid. Um, the first line of this song is kind of like a reference um, to what's happening in the story. So the first line in the song is, the seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. So that's a reference to the famous saying, the grass is always greener on the other side. So the grass is always greener means um, that when you see somebody um, or something, if you see somebody else and you're kind of jealous of them or like maybe you see people that live in New York City, for example, and you want to go and live there um, because it looks really exciting. Um, but then if you actually go there, you just find out that... Um, Maybe you have the exact same life as you have here or um, maybe just things aren't as exciting as you always think that they are. So it's, it's a very difficult thing to explain at the start of this video. Um, maybe it's a really good question is to ask people in your house what they think that means. The grass is always greener on the other side because it, in some ways it's kind of really obvious what it means, but it's also a little bit difficult to explain. Um, but in this instance, um, it's about the mermaid. The mermaid um, wants to go up and live on land with the people. Um, and the crab, so it's a crab singing this song. The crab is telling her that, no, it's actually not that good up there. If you were up there being a human, you wouldn't really like it that much. I think that it's much better down here under the sea. And that's why it's called under the sea. Um, I think there's pretty much most of the other words are uh, um, you know, or you can probably find out pretty easy, but, um, the one strange word is in this song is fricassee. So I didn't even really know what fricassee is. Um, so I looked it up and here is a photo of a fricassee now. Um, so that's what a fricassee looks like. So fricassee is just a type of cooking. So it looks like it's got lots of cream, maybe mushrooms or something like that. Um, we're going to do the song. I'm going to go through the first part of it with you now, um, slowly. And after that, I'm going to sing the whole song in a different video. And I'll have all the words there, almost like karaoke, and it'll make it much easier like that. So we're going to go through the song slowly. Um, can I just say, even if you think that you don't like mermaids, or even if you've watched The Little Mermaid and you didn't like it, I think you should still give this song a go because it is a really cool song. I really like it a lot. All right, so let's get into it. All right, for this song, I'm gonna use this tiny little guitar. It's very cute. It looks like a ukulele, but it's a guitar it, because it has six strings. Um, and I'm using it because it's got like a calypso-y little sound. So it's got a nice little sound that sounds similar to a ukulele, but you, um, you can play it like a guitar. All right, so it goes like this. I'm gonna sing it and then you're going to echo after me. So I'll sing one line and then you echo it after me. All right, ready? The seaweed is always greener In somebody else's lake 
you dream about going up there. But that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you. Right here on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things surround you. What more are you looking for? Under the sea. Under the sea. Darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Sorry, that bit wasn't an echo. It's pretty hard to do that bit as an echo. I'm going to sing it again. Under the sea. Under the sea. Darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Up on the shore, they work all day. Out in the sun, they slave away. Why are we devoting full time to floating under the sea? Um, just to go over the words in that bit, it goes under the sea, under the sea. Darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Up on the shore, they work all day. Out in the sun, they slave away. While we devote in full time to float in under the sea. Um, I'm going to do this whole thing as another video. Really, it's just that the, the melody at the start, even though it sounds very simple, it's actually a little bit tricky. So that's, I just wanted to go that, um, go through that with you. All right. Um, that's the end of this video about under the sea. Go to the next video now where we're actually going to sing the song with the words. Okay. Thanks.